In this Black Myth Wukong video, I bring a complete guide on how you get the secret Skarnha pill, which raises your base stats by 20. It's an amazing item tied behind a quest line that goes on from chapter 1 all the way up to chapter 6, and it's one I truly recommend you doing. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm giving away a copy of Black Myth Wukong or any game of your choice. To win it's as simple as this, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active on my Black Myth videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. So good luck everybody. So there are four secret items called Skarnhars, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, I normally do. Which upon you collecting them all, you can then find and defeat a secret boss within chapter 6, who gives you the fifth one. Uh, in the end which rewards you a boost on your base stats which is incredible guys and you don't want to miss this okay so this starts in chapter one uh, so from the forest of wolves area from the front hill shrine follow the path i take on screen now to the skarnhars location uh, i collected it previously but for you it should be right here on this statue of a head just come here and grab it guys if you haven't previously Okay, so the one in chapter 2 takes a little more work. It requires you to defeat a secret boss called the Shigandang. But to be even able to fight the secret boss, you have to collect 6 Buddha Eyes within chapter 2. Don't worry though, I already covered this in a previous video, uh, which I'll show you guys right now. So do what you gotta do guys, and this Skunda will drop from the boss, the secret boss you defeat. So to start you need to head to the Sangate Village Valley of the Despair Shrine and from this point guys follow the path I take on the screen now to recover your first set of eyes. We do locate the next shrine along the way just before getting the eyes and that shrine is called the Squall Hideout I believe that's pronounced Squall maybe not maybe I'm wrong who cares. So from the shrine we now go on to grab two more sets of eyes. The second set is guarded by a few enemies which you will have to take out before collecting said eyes. Now if you head back to that school hideout shrine, from here follow the path I take on screen out of the fourth set of eyes. Again this one is guarded so you will have to take out the enemies before you're able to collect said eyes.
Okay, so now we're going to move on to that fifth set of eyes. So we picked up the last ones from here guys, head to the location I take on screen now and grab these eyeballs. And lastly guys, let's go and collect the last set of eyes, the sixth set. So follow where I go on screen now guys and do what you gotta do. Okay, so from here guys, we now have to go and fight the stone vanguard boss. So you want to head back to that shrine. Once you are here, follow the path I take on screen now to this boss. Now although this boss is a little tanky, it's pretty easy. You just want to try and get behind him as much as possible. About 60 or 70% of his moveset are slow attacks which you can easily dodge and get behind him to combo his ass. So do what you gotta do and take him out. So with his second collected we now move on to the third. So within chapter 3 you need to come to the Valley of Ecstasy area and the Mindfulness Cliff Shrine. Then guys just follow the path I take on screen now to your third Skandar. Okay, so the fourth is found within chapter four. You need to come to the webbed hollow area and the purifying spring shrine. Then guys, follow the path I take on screen now to get your fourth. Okay, so with all four collected now, you now need to hold tight until you reach chapter six. 
Lakes and the area you need to be in is obviously the foothills area. Now because this area is navigated on a cloud, I will show you the location of the boss's nearest shrine first. Uh, so we'll go to that shrine and then we'll go to the boss. So when you first come to this area guys, just after the first shrine there is a boss. But once you take him out, you get access to this cloud travel feature which is pretty cool. So yes. From the first shrine of the verdant path follow the route i take on the screen now to the nearest shrine of that secret boss of the mantis catching swamp Okay, so from this shrine guys, we now go find that secret boss. So follow the path I take on screen now. Okay, so once you get here, you'll be welcomed by arguably the biggest boss in the game. Now, I won't lie, I attempted him to learn his mechanics, and after literally four attempts, I destroyed this boss, and I'll teach you exactly how to do the same thing. I use the spell binder spell because your spells here in general won't be any use to you uh, because this boss is just so big. If you get close to him, he has a deadly one hit move, which is just lights out. I just threw on Spellbinder just to make me a little more powerful, but it isn't actually needed, it will just take you a little longer with it. So to defeat this giant Shigandang boss, uh, it's quite easy. All you have to do is be patient and keep your distance. If you do this right, uh, the only attack he can do that hits you are those pulses along the floor, which you can jump over or even dodge through if you time them right. His most common attack is him swinging his arms, uh, which is why you need to keep a distance. Uh, and just after a few of these arm swing moves, you can easily judge that safe zone where you need to be. It's from this point, guys, you just want to avoid the ground slams and the arm swings until he drops his arm in front of you, which you will end up doing for a good 10 seconds or so. Exactly when he does this is hard to judge, though, which is why I'm running backwards and forwards every time he slams his arm down in front of me. Uh, but yes, when he does this, guys, you can lay down at maximum damage. And to do this, aim for the blue crystals on his arms. A couple of light combos and a heavy attack should break them, which does massive damage to him. Uh, then, guys, just repeat this cycle, and it really is as simple as that.
Okay, so when you do enough damage to him and his health drops down, he will do an instance of shooting like four or five waves across the floor in quick succession. Dodge them and then this fight is over. Simple as that. Then guys, you want to climb up on this boss and at the very top, you'll receive the fifth skander from a monkey and this quest is all but done. Okay, so now you have that Skanda of Consciousness, you now need to head to Zhudog uh, for him to change this into a pill which you take which boosts those stats. Now if you haven't come across Zhudog already, which I would find pretty hard to believe, you first meet him real early on within the Sandgate village uh, from the village entrance shrine. So from here guys, he's found under a bridge just nearby, so go to him. He then asks you to take a frog, which is also just nearby, so go ahead and do that. Upon you doing that returning to him, he then moves location. Now after you progress chapter 2, you will eventually come to the Crouching Tiger Temple and the Temple Shrine, and following the path forward here, you come to uh, the Tiger Vanguard boss fight. Now upon you taking out their Tiger Vanguard, you get the keyness of Tiger. This is an item you use on the statue ahead, which then opens up a secret path. Now, when you take the secret path, on the other side of this path is a slope. Going down the slope at the halfway point is the Crouching Tiger Temple Cellar Shrine. Just beyond this point guys you'll meet Chu Doug. Here guys you can now give him this Skanda which he will then transform into a pill for you. And there you go, you have those boosted stats. Now Chu Doug will move again to his final spot in the secret Zodiac village. Which if you've already unlocked you know exactly where he is. And there we have it guys. How you boost your stats permanently with the Skanda pill. Guys, if you've enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.